who said a singa is more of a college threat, not elite yet. Ooh. He only ran 10.05 two months ago. I don't know if that's true. I don't think this guy is just a college threat. I think he's a medal contender threat. When you look at the dynamics of the field that we're going to have in Budapest, which we'll get into later on in the podcast, running 989, win legal, beating someone of the caliber of Noah Lyles earlier in the year, Asinga is not just a cool young guy, teenager coming on, surprising everyone's story. You know, all those stories we have of the cool, young, teenager kid, surprising everyone's story. You know, everyone. Yep. Everyone knows those stories. Well, that's a, he's not just one of those. Fan favorite. He, he, he's right. a legit, he's a legit metal contender, in my opinion. Guy run 9-8. There's not many runners in the world right now running 9-8. Sure. There are people who can hit the nine sevens, but right now there's very few nine eight. He's the fourth fastest time win legal in the world. And he seems like he's only getting better. And he has some legitimate wins over some legitimate athletes, notably Noah Lyles. So I don't know, seeing this run 989, we've been waiting for him to get a win legal run at this caliber. I think he's going to go even faster three weeks from now. I think he can be a low 9-8 guy. Now, him meddling is going to be hard. Again, he's only a teenager. But he is someone that for sure the o- Omanyalas, the Curleys, the Colemans, the Hughes of this world need to watch. He's not going to be there just for fun. He's going to be a legit guy who's going to have a lane in that final who could surprise and maybe get him in. I think you did a good job summing it up. Now, 989, that's that's a much different time than 980 or 981. How but different I think is it? With the, is it like 0. 0.09 well, different? Well, you just keep saying he's a 98 guy now. And yeah, technically he is. Or saying he's he's he ran 98 leaves a little bit for interpretation. I'm just clarifying. Sure, sure. Still sure, a new 20 sure, record. Yeah, yeah. I was on this show last week. Was it last week? I believe it was last week. Time is standing still a bit. And who did I say could win gold? Tobogo in a hundred. Right. So I would be a hypocrite to be on the show this week and say that a Singa couldn't win a medal at the very least. Couldn't win a medal. Now Tobogo has more international experience. So, all yes. right. He probably has an edge, even though a Singa just took the U 20 record from him, but you have to look at the event that he's entering into the hundred that has been filled with parody that has had nobody really assert themselves. Nobody drop a crazy fast time. You said if he runs 9.8s, he can be in the mix of the medal. If he runs 9.8, he's going to medal. He's going to medal. I think that's going to be enough to medal given the, the the times that we've seen this year and the performances that we've seen this year. I think if he runs um, as, as like ha, at how he's been running, he's going to be right there. Now, an interesting thing to think about with him. He's a high schooler, yes. But has he run a traditional high school schedule? Not really. No. no. Not really, which is good this time of year because this time of year, you're looking at how many races they've run and you're looking at how many times they've really had to go to the well and expend themselves. He hasn't. When most kids were running tri-meets in April, he was racing Noah Lyles. He is not a normal high school runner. He beat Noah Lyles. So is he going to run out of gas? Maybe. Maybe it's still a long season for uh, a kid of that age. But he's also not following the same pattern, Gordon, as kids his age. So he's run four indoor races, but really only two meets. He ran Milrose in February, and then he ran New Balance Nationals, which was three races in the 60. So he ran two indoor races, two indoor meets. He's run one, two, three, four, five, six meets at running the 100. And one, two, three, four, five meets running the 200. So right. he started his season at the, the outdoor season, end of March at the Florida State Relays. Then he went to run the Florida Relays. He's running a collegiate season. He goes to Florida State Relays, to the Florida Relays, goes to the Hurricane Alumni Invite. Then he starts running in Claremont, going to the Pure Athletic Spring Invite. 
goes to Lubbock, and now he's running in Brazil at the South American Athletics Championships where he ran his 989. I mean, also, he ran a 1003 into a headwind in the prelims. Right. Okay, but here's the thing. You said he's running a college season, minus a couple things, though. Did he run a conference meet where he had to run five events? No. Is he running the Did he run NCAAs? Four? No. Is he running NCAAs? Right. No. The two, what most collegians would consider two of the most taxing meets of the year, he didn't have to run. So, yeah, he's not quite a pro athlete, not quite, a, not quite on a pro schedule, not quite on a college schedule, certainly not on a high school schedule. This is a hybrid combination of things that Asinga is piecing together with, with his coach, and you have to hand it to them because they've been awfully successful. And now we're only a couple weeks out from the World Championships, and he's running faster than he has. Do you know and how many times he's run 9-8 not... this year? Well, with wind? It's like yeah. three, isn't it? Four. This is the fourth time. Yeah, yeah. He had three yeah. other again, nine eights, albeit right. windy. Is it albeit yeah. or is albeit? How do you say that word? Albeit? No, albeit? you did it right. You did it. You did it right the first time. Don't run away right from success, time. Gordon. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's he's run nine eight four times. Yes. Yeah. Some most of them are windy, but hey, and it's not like this was a one point nine win. This was point eight. It wasn't even that much wind. So here's the thing, too. You brought up the other factor, which is the head to head stuff. He beat Lyles. He's got a win over Lyles. Lyles made the U.S. team, so that is a win that counts. There's currency with that win. And then he also has the fast times. So right now, I think he is a, I'll say, Asama Singa can win a medal at the World Championships, partly because of how good he is, also in part because of how wide open the men's 100 is right now.